Hey everyone, my name is Gilberto and we are here with our first TCGO session and this is my first time ever recording this. Uh, this is my first deck I've ever made. Uh, I'm really excited about using this deck. I literally made this deck from scratch. It's just a basic water deck, not anything crazy. And honestly, I've just been adding uh, EXs as I've acquired them through packs and whatnot. And actually, you know what, I, uh, instead of jumping right into it, I'm gonna start off this video by going and opening up some packs here. Collection, here we go, here we go. We're doing things, guys. All right, we're gonna go into packs. Actually, I do have a couple of, so these are all my packs right here, and I do have a couple of chests to open. I wanna try and open a couple chests. I'll open like two of my chests and let's say three packs let's just see what we can get here we get five coins and and a leveny interesting interesting okay we're gonna open up another one we get 25 points and a volbeat all right so what do we open up here i really want to open up a roaring skies right now we're just gonna open this up we see uh, Natu, Tailo, Swablu, Pikachu, Electrike, uh, Mega Turbo, Wally, Tropius. Oh, I actually need to add Wally to my to my thing. I want to I, I want to replace my Evo sodas with Wally. Tropius, a Klefki, uh, not even not a Reverse Foil, just a regular old Klefki, and a rare Swellow. So I'm gonna open up one more. And then we're gonna pick one last pack to open. Not two Pikachu, Pit of, Meowth, Halucha, Ladio, Spirit Link, Pelipper, Shelgon, a rare a reverse foil Deoxys, and the rare is a Hydreigon EX. Yo, that looks insane. It's ability Dragon Road. If there's a stadium card in play, the retreat cost of each of your dragon Pokemon in play is two energies less. I might want to use that at some point. All right, we're going to pick one last pack to open up. I actually would really like to open up... Hmm. I'll open up Flash Fire, right? No, Primal Clash. I want to do Primal Clash. Only because there's a solid chance of getting some kind of craziness with with Kyogre. We see Electric, Slugma, Barboach, Surskit, Lotad, Freshwater, Teammates, Scorched Earth, Masquerain, and Swampert. All right, well, not the worst, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I mean, obviously you guys will see my, my deck as I go. This is, I mean, I named this deck first deck, so you guys already know. I don't have, I don't know much of anything. We're just jumping straight into it. Something that I'm not used to, something that I thought would be the case was I kind of thought they would be a little more forthcoming with what are my competitive ranking is compared to other people, but I'm just making complete guesses. Okay, so we are gonna get into it. We do win the coin flip. I, I like going first, personally. Uh, and hopefully, I'm just hoping we get some basics and we don't get any. As I'm saying it, I realize we don't have any basics. Seems as though my opponent does. So this is not great for us. Um, the biggest weakness for my deck is not having Pokemon that are easily that are easy to set up. A lot of my basics are EXs, and and they're just EXs that have too high a cost for too little damage output. Like like one card that I would really like to get rid of as soon as I can actually pull a better card is my Kiram EX. It's the Glaciate uh, Ice Caliber Kiram that that uh, deals 30, 30 to each Pokemon, including the Pokemon on the bench, um, for three energies and then and then deals 120, 130 for four energies and then you have to discard two of those energies, I think, or something like that. But uh, it's it's really difficult to work with. All right, so I do go first, and I'm just gonna let him go down. So, 
So an electric deck is going to be really difficult because I do have a weakness to this, or at least my Gyarados does. The, the, my, I think my Lugia does too. Yeah, it does. But my Articuno is only weak to steel, which is good. Uh, I'm going to play Professor's Letter, try to get a couple more energies. And like I said, an, an electric deck is just going to be difficult to deal with, but not to say we can't do it. It's just going to be difficult. Uh, so let's see. I'm not for that familiar with these attacks. Search your, search your deck for, for an electric energy and attach it to this Pokemon. And then once it gets three, you can Electron Rush. You may discard energy attached. If you do, it does 30 damage. Okay. There's 30 more. So that's not going to be the best, especially with all of my weaknesses. But we can do things like Team Flare Grunt. We can take away an electric. We can evolve this magic harp. And as much as I would like to start setting up this Gyarados, I really need this thing asleep and I really need to start dealing some damage to this Amolga. I'm just gonna chilling sigh and hope that we nope. Never mind then. Alright, well, it does have a little bit of a high cost to actually attack, which is gonna help me out. It's gonna make it so. I have at least one more chance to actually put it to sleep unless you Lysander me out. Uh, TBH, you should have Lysandered me into my Snorlax because my Snorlax has a four retreat cost. You're gonna Lysander again. Oh, you're gonna get another, you're gonna get your Lysander back with a Versus Seeker. I see what you did there. Okay, now you can actually Electron Rush, which is terrifying over here. However, I do top deck a double colorless energy, which is huge. That's huge. So now I can deal, how much can I deal here? Uh, I can do 20, 30, no, two, three, four, five. I could do a hundred. And of course you have, okay. So this is a really tough position to be in because now I wanna retreat into my Articuno. But is that the play that I make? I really want to deal the hundred, but it's not going to be worth it in the end. But if I let my Lugia go down, then I can. Then I always have my Lugia for later. No, I'm just going to retreat. Unfortunately, I really need my Lugia for later. I think. I think my Lugia is going to be really important. I'm going to put this thing to sleep. It does stay asleep. And we're going to be able to attach this water energy to the Articuno and hopefully start dealing some damage. But I forgot. I complete. That's on me. I completely forgot about the Lysander. But at least this thing is asleep. So maybe this thing will stay asleep. And that would be fantastic for me. He's just going to continue to try to Lysander my, my Pokemon that are weak. Oh, and I top tech another double colorless. That is huge. So now I can deal 100 and... If he, and if this thing stays asleep, yes, then we are going to take this thing out next turn. It, it will Lysander me, which is, I guess, fine. Um, I don't really know um, what I could do otherwise. I don't mind that much if you Lysander me, I guess. Because I will always have my Lugia and or my Articuno that will be able to deal some damage. Unless you can heal that off with... With... Uh, with Pokemon Center Lady or something like that. But even then, Lugia is gonna deal a lot of damage. Articuno can always put you to sleep. Energy switch, interesting. So, huh. I'm not sure what you're planning. I guess you're just going to let a Molga go down and try to set up your Eevee here. Interesting. I'm not quite sure what you're planning at all. But we do top deck a water energy, which is great to attach to Lugia, deal some additional damage moving forward. And if we do find, if, if we can attach another energy and we do find a Raging Seas, then we can start dealing 150, which will be huge for this Ho-Oh in particular. Uh, once during your turn, if this Pokemon has any basic energy attached to you, you may heal 50 from it. Oh, that's kind of scary and there is the jolteon which oh that's not good it looks like okay so it doesn't deal that much i'm not familiar with this uh jolteon at all it's a plasma set jolteon 
Uh, Electric Diffuse, this Pokemon, the Pokemon can't attack during the next turn. So that stinks. That stinks quite a bit. But what I can do is I can put a Muscle Band on Articuno, attach that third energy, retreat into the Articuno, and then, I mean, we only have to do 90. Well, I mean, that means we need, that means we need, we're doing 40 base, and then it does 40 for each heads. So that means we need two heads, two out of three heads, and this Jolteon goes down. Can we get it? Oh no, just barely missed out on that hit, on taking out this Jolteon straight up. But at the very least, uh, we're not in EX, so, mmm, you Lysander me out. I keep forgetting about these Lysanders, you keep, you keep ver using Versus Seeker and taking them out of the discard pile. But it doesn't look like you can take me out. You're just going to force me to retreat. And and I could be stuck in if uh, I cannot top deck any energies. All I really need to do is top deck a water energy. And I can switch out even though I won't be able to attack next turn. Because of that secondary effect from Jolteon. Uh, Obi pin missiles. So it deals more damage. Or theoretically it should. If he had gotten more heads it would have dealt more damage. But I can attack. I think. I didn't read pin missile. Yeah, okay, so I can attack, it looks like. Oh, I would be able to attack if I had top decked an energy. But I was not able to do that, and I don't even have anything on my graveyard, so I can't use Fisherman. So unfortunately, my Lugia has to go down here. Hmm, that, hmm. I really need energies. I desperately need to be able to draw some energies, or else I am pretty much sunk here. I am pretty much sunk unless I can get some energies. I mean, a killing would be fantastic. I mean, I'd settle for a Bianca at this point. I will gladly play down my my Buffalon and my Magic Harp to get the most out of a Bianca. Um, Charon would be fantastic. Oh, you just withdraw. Why? That's interesting. Why would you do that when you can take? Oh. You want to take out my Articuno. Oh! Wow, that was a next level play. I didn't... Well, I mean, I'm not that familiar with that hoe. I completely forgot about its secondary effects. I've never... Uh, maybe I should be familiar with this hoe. Maybe I should start using this hoe. -oh. Well, I am in a pretty bad position here. You took out two of my mons. And I just need to stall for time at this point. I can get the maximum... Uh, four energies back from from fisherman and i can play charon next turn and i just have to buy some time and set up this gyarados but realistically i can only last what like four i can only last four hits from this ho oh -oh until the gyarados gets taken out so I I, ha I only have four turns to do this. And it will be able to heal itself too, huh? So realistically, I need a Muscle Band on my Gyarados. And I need to deal max damage. Can I even do max damage? So let's see. Let's assume I get four Water Energies on this. Let's assume I, do, I get four Water Energies on this. Huh. It has 180. I would I would need three heads. Oh, I yeah, I would only need three heads in order to take it out. So I mean that is doable, question mark. It's just not likely. I need cards. Oh, I can crushing hammer, so that's great. And this is super clutch. Raging Seas is gonna be super clutch for me. Crushing Hammer is going to help me out a little bit. I will be able to take out an energy, which doesn't doesn't really matter. Oh, I should have taken out the Grass energy. Oh, I'm really dumb. I really should have taken out the Grass energy. Oh, wow. But that Raging Seas is incredibly clutch because I will be able to heal away damage. And I might actually buy some time by letting him take out my Bufalant. 
And I have to imagine he's out of Versus Seeker, so we can't continually Lysander out my weaker Mons. And just manipulate everything. That's fine. Oh, it actually means he can heal up his Jolteon, but that... Uh, well, the Jolteon is going to be able to take out my Gyarados soon. Maybe. Actually, can it? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, the most this Jolteon I could do is 80 to me. And I'm not in the X, so I could hit him back for a whole lot. So as long as I can get four water energies on this Gyarados... Oh, escape rope. Oh. Yeah, he's going to be able to take out my Snorlax and something else. Wait, why didn't escape rope do anything? I don't understand. It also doesn't make sense why he was why he would still be targeting my Gyarados on that secondary effect. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter either way. A little bit of raging seas. I'm gonna have to let my blue flan go down, and I'm gonna need a Gyarados sweep in order to do anything here. And I do have a Pokemon Center Lady that is gonna come in super clutch after I take on this Jolteon. But for right now, I just have to end my turn. This Jolteon is gonna... This Jolteon is actually gonna heal back up to full. Which is super unfortunate. But... As long as nothing super crazy happens... I should be in a decent position here. Oh man, but if I take too much damage with this... I mean, I have to face the Jolteon and the Venusaur. After I take out this Ho-Oh, if I can take out this Ho-Oh. So we're exactly where we need to be. Uh, Gyarados can come in. I have a fully, um, I will have a fully set up Gyarados in a second. I have a Pokemon Center Lady in my hand. All I really need is three heads. Three heads and this thing goes down. Right? Yeah. Three heads and this thing goes down. And again, I have a chance if I can just get three heads. Can we do it? No, that's it. That will be the game. Wait, wait, whoa. Oh, it's a, it's weak to water. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it was weak to water. I did not even realize this week to water. So that was a completely useless uh, prize drawing. I did not even realize that. That is insane. Okay, so it's gonna pin missile me. So I'm gonna have to, it can deal a potential 160 if it gets all four heads. And that's gonna take me out straight away. So I'm just gonna have to survive this somehow. But I don't even have to draw any heads with Aqua Tail. All I have to do... Oh, you're going to escape rope. That is going to... That's going to win you the game. That is going to win you the game. Well, I did have a chance. I did, I did in fact have a chance. But... That escape rope completely took that away. And that was a very good match. That was a very good match. So if I was able to take to take on that damage from that Jolteon, I would have been able to heal up 90 points of damage between Pokemon Center and Lady and Raging Seas, and I would have been able to fight back against that Venusaur, and I'm not sure how many heads I needed. I probably had another situation where I needed three heads, but I did have a very small chance of winning that. Didn't come through for me. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. We have battle spot sessions every dang day of the week. We have new teams every week, and we are completely learning this TCGO. Hopefully you guys have been watching a few of these TCG openings as well. I've been getting a bunch of Elite Trainer boxes, a bunch of theme boxes, and in every single TCG opening, we have a TCGO code giveaway. So please watch those for instructions on how to get those. And I will also be giving away CCGO codes in this video. All you have to do is leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of the video and that you would like a TCGO code. And the only thing that I ask is please be subscribed to the channel and I will be in touch very soon to give away some codes. And with that, once again, thank you so much for watching and I am once again out.